What's up guys, welcome back to Huffman of Tech. So iOS 13.6 has been out for quite some time now. If you open the calendar app, we can tell that you know iOS 13.6 was released on the 15th of July 2020. I have it marked in the calendar and if you count the number of weeks, it's actually been over three weeks since we saw iOS 13.6. This is an update that's longing for a successor and as you guys requested, I'm going to be making a video about when iOS 13.6.1 is expected to be released. So if you're excited for that video and also for iOS 13 and iOS 14 videos, definitely hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the latest content that we have for you. So first things first, let's start off with a possible release date for iOS 13.6.1. If we open the calendar app, you can see that, you know, at the time I'm recording this video, it's actually the 5th of August and iOS 13.6.1 is expected as early as tomorrow, August the 6th or on Friday. It's highly unlikely that we'll see an update on Friday the 7th, but Apple at this time is focused more and more on iOS 14 betas as we draw closer to the 4. So it could also be delayed and possibly be released between the weeks of the 10th to the 14th of August. So that's when we expect to see iOS 13.6.1. Now, when iOS 13.6 came out, it came out with quite a number of features and the major one has to do with the car key. So you can easily add a 2020 BMW that was manufactured from July 1st onwards to your phone and be able to use it as a car key. And also if you use Apple News Plus service, Services, you have more option and you are able to use audio stories if you use Apple News Plus and also with iOS 13.6 we saw an introduction of more symptoms and also more options when it comes to the health app we also saw more control over updates so if you go to software update you can sort of customize software update you can turn the download on but not install or you can install the update depending on what you need now some of the new features that we expect to see when ios 13.6.1 comes out we expect to see a slightly improved apple tv app this is an app that's longing for a refresh and it's rumored that it will be refreshed slightly with ios 13.6.1 and also something else that we expect to see with ios 13.6.1 that is rumored is an improved safari now this won't come with new features it will just come with slightly improved security and patches and also if you're experiencing some jira delays and also some latency delays when it comes to safari those would definitely be fixed now also it is rumored that with ios 13.6.1 we'll actually see some improvements to the apple music app this is an app that's been undergoing quite a number of several changes and with ios 13.6.1 we might see some improvements with the Apple Music app. It is important to keep in mind that these are rumored updates that are expected to come to iOS 13.6.1 and in fact if we were to open the Apple uh, page here you can see that you know not many issues are known when it comes to iOS 13.6 so quite a number of people are happy with the iOS 13.6 and let me know if you are happy with this update and also what issues you are facing. Some of my subscribers have mentioned that Wi-Fi and airdrop connection is a bit slow when it comes to iOS 13.6 and that is something that iOS 13.6.1 will easily fix when it comes out something else that you know i've experienced this sometimes i would open an app like youtube right and then when i log out uh, touch responsiveness is sort of delayed so if you are experiencing that this is something that i'm experiencing myself it comes and goes and it's a known bug and this is something that's being experienced by quite a number of people now when it comes to battery performance if we go into the settings and go to my battery section there and go to my battery health you can see that my maximum capacity actually dropped by one percent now when i initially updated which was of course three weeks ago when ios 13.6 came out my battery maximum health capacity was on 88 percent but as you can see here after three weeks it has dropped to 87 percent so let me know 
if your maximum health capacity dropped after two or three weeks it could be the correct representation of what i have or it could be a bug that came with this update now when it comes to gpu and cpu performance let's just see some of the scores that i have here when on ios 13.6 if we see the history that i have here for cpu let's see when i ran this score is initially so for single core i had 927 and if you compare that with other average iphone x devices you can see that i'm above average and for multi-core you can see that i'm way way above average and you can see my score there is 2471 and iphone x average is 2366 now when it comes to gpu or graphics performance you can see that you know i'm above average and my score is 4065 and iphone x average is 3153 so when it comes to performances you can see here ios 13.6 has been great for me on my iphone x and quite a number of people are reporting that you know performance wise the device is good it's only that you know when it comes to battery performance that some devices are experiencing issues but for me on my iphone x it's quite okay and ios 13.6.1 is mostly going to be a stability and security improvement there isn't a ton of new features that we are definitely going to see when it comes out and most of the features are rumored and we'll see when that comes out so hopefully apple releases that soon and basically that's about it for me guys when it comes to a small follow-up video and also the expected ios 13.6.1 update if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe and thank you very much for watching stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video peace